you can hide a multitude of sins with a headscarf. So you'd have to tuck my ears in while I've done searching for you. Hi, I'm Jess, and welcome to my channel. So this edition, as you can probably tell, is a vacation haul. Now I'm very much a sun baby. I love the heat, I love the beach. In fact, just generally warmer climate suits me down to the ground. So when it comes to picking my perfect wardrobe for my holidays, I feel like this is probably my area of expertise. I've got this one totally sussed. So let's get straight to it and show you what I've found recently that absolutely needs to come on holiday with me. So first up is this gorgeous cover-up that I'm wearing which came from the dressing room in St Albans. It's a brand called Devotion which I hadn't heard of before but if you've watched a couple of my videos before you can probably tell this is just my cup of tea. I absolutely love this sort of thing. It's very bohemian but in a cool up-to-date kind of way. I absolutely love the print. It's kind of along that Aztec sort of vibe and obviously it's got red, white and black running through it. I love this trim across the chest, which is like a fringing in black. I think that gives it a really nice detail. So it is a floor length maxi dress that's essentially a wrap with a nice bit of elastic around the waistband. It falls over really nicely on the waistband. I think that shape is really flattering and probably what I'd do with it anyway if it wasn't in place like that. You've got a kimono shaped sleeve, which again, I find really, really flattering. And I've just popped it on top of my bikini underneath, which is pretty much what I would use it for on the beach. It's just a great bohemian print, so a good investment piece, I'd say. Next up, I found myself a gorgeous straw hat from And Other Stories. I really like this one, actually. It's the fedora type shape, but not quite so structured as some of them that you can buy. It's a little bit more loose, a bit more relaxed, which is probably more my style. Obviously, you have got a black trim around it, but for me, I don't think that limits what I can wear it with. I'd probably wear this hat with all of the dresses or blouses that I've got. I've got really sticky out ears, so I do struggle with hats a bit, because I either have to tuck my ears in, or let them pop out and then it looks a bit odd. So yes, that will probably look better on other people than it does me. But other than that, yes, I like that one. For obvious reasons to protect you from the sun, it's good to have a nice straw hat in your collection for holidays, etc. But also, I really love the looks. I think that element of bringing in straw with a bag or a hat, etc. is really lovely for summer. It just relaxes everything. I think it just gives it more of a, a laid back chic. It was really reasonable on the price as well. So I think this hat is definitely a keeper. It's gonna go with pretty much everything I would take on holiday. So next up is this gorgeous dress by a brand called Petusa. Now I've gone for this in the strawberry tone, but it is available in lots of different colors. It's a hugely popular dress essentially. I think on the dressing room's website, they sell out almost instantly when they get a new color in. I think there's aqua and blue and they're all really, really beautiful. But I went for the strawberry because I thought that would suit my skin tone the most and I thought it would match a lot of the straw bags I've got as well. So obviously it's a really deep V at the front, then it's a racer back at the back. I really love this giant scoop that goes from the back all the way to the front. Not only is that hugely practical when you're in 30 degrees heat, etc., but I also really like the style. And it makes the whole dress fall and drape in all the right places. I love it. Obviously I would wear this dress as a cover up for the beach, but equally, this is the sort of thing I'd feel really comfortable in, just in the daytime. Even with my bikini on underneath, that wouldn't bother me at all. So you've also got these Inca trims running all the way around the neckline and down the front to the hem. It instantly makes you think of all those gorgeous, slightly bohemian resorts in Punta del Este or Ibiza, etc. It's got that kind of vibe, which I love. I feel really comfortable, it's very much my style, and it's the sort of thing I would get so much use out of on my holidays. Another accessory I would always take on my holidays, or use quite a lot actually through summer, is a good headscarf. I found this one recently on And Other Stories and I thought it was lovely. Really nice fabric, really nice print. And with the mixture of colors in there, I felt like I could wear that with quite a lot of different items already in my wardrobe. Obviously, there are loads of headscarves out there at the moment. You've got the pick of the bunch really from all the different price points. I'll pop a few images over as well as some of my favorites I found from the likes of Accessorize, or you could go below the budget from Gucci. The choice is yours. Essentially, I just 
find them really, really handy. If I'm on the beach and it's really, really hot and I just want to get my hair up and out the way, I use a headscarf. If I'm having a bad hair day or if I've got some serious humid hair going on, stick a headscarf in it and it's done. <laughs> you can hide a multitude of sins with a headscarf. So yeah, really, really practical, but also I love the look. I mean, they are particularly on trend for this season. Uh, we saw loads of different headbands, etc., all over the catwalks for spring, summer 19. And I do really like it. I can wear it because it pins my ears back, unlike the headbands that I can't seem to wear. So yes, I do love a headscarf for my summer holidays. It's very practical of me, but I think they're a really nice look as well. And it complements pretty much anything you're wearing. <laughs> Next up is this beautiful bright yellow maxi dress that I found on And Other Stories. Now I noticed this on their website, thought it looked really beautiful, but when it arrived, it was actually so much nicer than it looks on the pictures from their website. And that's because of the fabric, it's absolutely beautiful. Yellow is one of my favorite colors, so to have that in a maxi dress is like double whammy for me. There's a lovely pattern running through the fabric which just glistens a little bit as you move and made it look a lot more expensive than it actually was. So it's a very simple A-line design dress, but they tend to fall really beautifully, particularly as a maxi and particularly for summer. I love this rope detail that goes over to the back here, and then it just scoops around really nicely at the back as well. So I've kept my styling really simple. I've just got the bracelet stack on, which came from Annie Hack Designs, which I love. It'd be quite nice to tie your hair up out the way with this, because then you can see the lovely neckline. This is the sort of dress I'd wear it in the day at the beach, Beach, going for dinner and you can dress it up dress it down it's one of those really versatile dresses that I think on holiday you would end up using it so much got the linen shirt on that I got recently from Everlane and I've paired it with a new maxi skirt that's just arrived from Marks and Spencers. Now I'll be honest I don't often shop on Marks and Spencers for no other reason other than I forget and every time I pop onto their website I go oh that's really lovely so actually I got two pieces from their new collection and I really really like them both. So this maxi skirt caught my eye because of the colour I thought it was gorgeous pop of yellow. I also really love maxi skirts that have this drop staggered seam. I think that's a really, really flattering look. And that just makes the lower part of your body really elongated and it's very flattering. You've also got pockets in this skirt, which I think is a nice detail. And it's made from 100% viscose, so really lovely fabric too. But really the great pull for me on this skirt was the color. Now you can style maxi skirts in lots of different ways. It still feels really relaxed, but popping a shirt with a maxi skirt makes it a little bit smarter, so maybe you could wear it for work, etc. Now I've also styled it with the sandals that I got from Everlane because I love the tone of the yellow against that taupe. I think that really works nice together. And just some pretty little earrings that I got from a brand called Estella Bartlett. They're really understated, but I think they're quite cool at the same time. One's got a star on and the other one's a lightning bolt. And I just love that tiny sprinkle of gold dropping down. But yeah, a really lovely piece from Marks and & Spencers. And note to self, I will look on their website far more often. I do always take a couple of pretty little blouses with me on holiday. Again, I find them so versatile to mix and match with my maxi skirts or a pair of jeans in the evening. This one came from Marks and Spencers and I love the green tone and this contrast black embroidery that's over the chest here. I love the shape of these sleeves. I think that's really different. You've got quite a wide hem just sitting below the elbow and then those gathers make a really lovely shape over your arm. You've got a nice drop seam over the chest and then just these tassels hanging down as well. So very much a bohemian type spirit, which I think is really lovely for your holidays. Now another thing I find so handy to have on holiday with me is lots and lots of caftan dresses, both middies and maxis. I've got quite a lot of these from all different price points. I've got some quite expensive ones, but I've equally got a couple from H&M, which I think are equally handy. So this one I'm wearing is actually from my own collection that I used to have. So my collection started off with all pure cashmere, but as it came around to summer and my love of more bohemian styles, I started designing these dresses 
dresses that you could wear to the beach, but equally you could dress up really lovely for the evening. So slightly extravagantly and fitting with the niche market that I was in, it is in silk habitat and silk chiffon. I think if I was ever to do my own collection again, I would definitely do something along this train of thought. A little bit bohemian, but very understated, elegant for the beach, etc but I would probably use cheaper fabrics. Although silk chiffon, silk habitat is absolutely beautiful, it's very expensive. And the retail price ended up getting a bit silly. So I'd probably do something like this in a cheaper fabric that was a bit more accessible for everybody. But anyway, this obviously isn't available to buy because I don't do the collection anymore. But I wanted to show you because there are a couple of brands out there that are doing a really similar thing to what I used to do. So they're using silk chiffon, silk habitat, beautiful fabrics for lovely, lovely beach wear. And there are some gorgeous just dresses if it's within your budget. If they are a stretch too far on your budget, I've equally put in the description some of my other favorite kaftan dresses, both midis and maxis, because there's some really, really beautiful ones out there. You don't have to spend a fortune. It's just a matter of searching while well, I've done the searching for you. So I hope you like this edition and a little look at what I like to take on holiday with me. I don't travel light, <laughs> as you can see, but you'd be surprised I often manage to get all of that into hand luggage only, so I don't have to check my bag in. But with that collection, I feel like I've covered all bases, I'm sorted for the beach, I'm sorted for daytime, and lots of the pieces are good at crossing over and being really versatile for the evening as well, which I think is important to think about when you're packing for your hollies, etc. I hope you loved all those new pieces I've shown you. As always, I would love to know your favourites. Do let me know in the comments section. I'm making a concerted effort to try and write shorter replies. I think I waffle for England in my comments section. I can't seem to write short replies, so sorry about that. I do love a good chit chat. <laughs> Don't forget to find me over on Instagram at fashion and style edit. Sometimes it's a bit easier to chit chat on there because I'm on there quite a lot, etc. And if you're new to my channel and you liked this video, you like the way I style outfits, it would be lovely if you could subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button because then you get a notification each time I upload so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>